In the fall of the year, the cattail sloughs, shelter belts, and dense stands of switchgrass are often the target of most outdoor enthusiasts. Are these fall destinations the most productive for wildlife? Take a couple minutes and see what habitat looks like from the ground level. This four-minute video will examine the importance of grassland management and annual habitat needs. Five years of no management has created a duff layer that is so thick you can see the chicks have a hard time navigating to find the insects. The plant diversity is okay and the cover from predators is great, but the ground is so covered with decaying vegetation that the chicks have a hard time finding adequate forage. As we move across the road to a CRP field that was burned this spring, the vegetation is responding nicely. There is bare ground, flowers, and cover from overhead predators. The landowner is utilizing staggered management to make sure there is still cover available during the nesting season. Utilizing NRCS's Upland Wildlife Habitat Management Practice Standard, he burned one third of his acreage this spring and will burn another third this year and the last third the following year. You can see the vegetative response and habitat value of prescribed burning as a management tool. It removes the duff layer and rejuvenates the grasses and flowers, providing a host of benefits to early successional species such as pheasants. Wetland restorations play a key role in conservation for water quality and quantity, as well as provide great wildlife value. Beyond waterfowl in the spring, summer, and fall months, they also have a role as a winter thermal cover for a host of wildlife species. Oftentimes, wetlands are buffered by uplands to provide nesting and brood rearing opportunity for ground nesting birds, as the cattails themselves don't provide that value being thick and wet. This pollinator plot is being managed by cattle, utilizing the prescribed grazing system of NRCS standard 528. Look at the freshly grazed ground. The stubble height is above 10 inches and there are cow pies which attract beneficial insects for wildlife. Grazing is a great management tool and when done correctly is very beneficial to the grassland and the habitat it creates. Seven years ago this pollinator plot was seeded with over 50 varieties of forb and grass species which attracts a huge variety of insects. Since pheasant chicks survive on insects the first two weeks of their life, pollinator plots are also great brood rearing spots. Seven years of growth with no management has left the duff layer thick. Management in future years will be beneficial to the grassland and the pollinators and wildlife that use this prairie site. This spot is great. It was hayed last summer after the primary nesting season. Haying took away six years of duff material and opened up the ground layer for a very responsive regrowth of native plants. Management matters. As you have seen, there are different management tools that can be used in different combinations. Management increases diversity and sets back unwanted scenarios such as encroachment of trees in the prairie. As we have seen, even a well-intentioned pollinator plot can lose its effectiveness without proper management. Managing grasslands with prescribed burning, prescribed haying, and prescribed grazing are all great ways to improve habitat. And when these are done on a rotational basis, ideal habitat can be achieved. Plant diversity coupled with management activities is a surefire way to make sure you are keeping your prairie as productive as possible. If you would like more information or to schedule a personalized site visit, please contact your local NRCS service center to get a personalized plan that fits your property and management goals.